Hello, it's me Jess. Welcome to my channel. I'm here today with another channeled message. This is a specific message. It might resonate with you. It might not. Okay, so this is maybe a bit of a serious message. I just heard, I know what you did. I know what you did. It was seen what you did. And that's repeating in my mind, which is telling me there could be more than one person involved in whatever this is, either more than one person who saw something here um, clearly or you know saw something as it was happening or one person here that's maybe telling multiple people I know what you did it was seen what you did take that however it resonates but it does feel like there's some kind of there's realizational energy here which is telling me that for some people even though they may have witnessed certain things certain people saying certain things they still may not have seen clearly exactly what it was that they were witnessing so it may have taken multiple bits of information or some time to kind of finally put it all together. But I do feel like it has been put together here on, I'm kind of getting like there could be three perspectives. There's tower energy here around whatever this realization is, but there's multiple towers for multiple people depending on their perspective and what position they were playing on the field, where they were in the situation that played out here. And there is a reference here to some kind of like breakdown in communication and maybe the realization around, oh, I realized that communication broke down because this was actually what was going on and I thought that it was this, but now that I see things clearly, there's this kind of kaleidoscope energy, you know, um, those little, they almost look like, uh, like a telescope, but you can kind of twist it and the, the images go like blur and they kind of make something different. There's a situation where it's like, it wasn't exactly seen clearly, but it feels like from multiple perspectives. And I can see this situation that's played out is divinely guided, divinely orchestrated in order to bring this realization here into focus about, and there's the number four here that's very significant in terms of like the social dynamics. So I'm getting that there's a very divine person here at the center of this. And I feel like this person's divinity is somehow palpable. And this is a person who was somehow like just a very divine presence in this and certain things could have unfolded here around this person. They were basically, there's a sense of them being scrubbed in sunshine. You know, there's a sense of this person being like special or different or like there's something about them that really does just kind of like stand out like above and beyond. You would feel it around this person. You, you would sense their kind of specialness or something because there is a divinity here around this person and I'm just hearing they were handpicked by God for this mission to kind of go in and be the center around which all of this kind of drama is unfolding. And there is a divine purpose for that. And part of it is to kind of um, get the truth here about some kind of four of pentacles energy. And that might be actually part of this realization is flipping the victim and the persecutor here in this situation who you originally were led to believe maybe was a victim is actually a persecutor or, um, you know, is is led by their insecurity, behave very badly. There's something like that going on here, but just not for everybody. Maybe you do understand that somebody was victimized here, but you didn't realize in what way or to what extent. There is some kind of tower moment of realizing exactly what was going on here. And there's certain elements of this, like um, it could have been that somebody here was even gearing up to like express feelings, but then this big breakdown in like love feelings, but then this big kind of breakdown in this situation happened. And I know I'm speaking very vaguely about this because I do feel like this, this is really speaking about a number of different situations, but I can tell you that the social dynamics here centers around the number four. So four is of course the emperor card in the tarot. So for some of you, this is an emperor energy who is maybe realizing his own folly because I call the four of pentacles, the emperor wannabe card. So it could be that he had four different experiences here with four different individuals that all kind of mirrored back the fact he thought that he was, you know, being strong or coming off strong or being in a, you know, he had, he had kind of a false vision of himself. Like he wasn't really aware of the truth of himself and how he was behaving and he kind of pieced it all together and boom, there's this kind of apocalypse tower moment of having this crashing realization of, oh my gosh, I need to be better. This is a, an emperor energy, right? Could be a masculine, could be a father, could be a leader of some kind, um, realizing that maybe they thought that they were being treated unfairly or they were being victimized, but really they weren't actually taking responsibility like a leader does in that four of pentacles thing. There was some kind of order, there was some kind of established something that they 
were not seeing in themselves and that truth has been a crashing realization and that's what the uh, divine wanted to accomplish here in that scenario for others there's a group of like four people here who are having a sudden realization here about this like kind of emperor type and this could be a ringleader that maybe put them up to something here in regards to a divine being like maybe told a lie Re um, i'm hearing that darvo defend attacked re uh, reverse victim and offender in order to get these four people or this group of people um, could be a group of emperor energies, um, could be to convince an authority, right? To turn on some this like kind of very divine being, somebody who, again, they come off kind of scrubbed in sunshine, like they, they really are a very well-intentioned person. And of course, this person would have had to been very manipulative, very Machiavellian, very strategic, very self-centered, very maybe afraid of the truth coming out here around something to do with them and who they really are as a person. Um, and facing something about themselves here, like that could be a possibility. And now these four people are realizing exactly who this person is that put them up to some kind of like, I don't know, horrendous bullying or something and realizing maybe that this person had an ulterior motive all along. And maybe that is to kind of express feelings. Maybe one or multiple of these people were wanting to express feelings here to this like divine being. I'm not sure that's, um, that's a possibility here as well. There's also a possibility that we have again, this like very um, divinely placed being here um that is kind of i think it was a tower moment for them again because there's this tower energy of realizing the truth of exactly what went on here but it's from different perspectives here in this situation and i feel like for a lot of you there's this kind of again divine being here in the middle of things that really had a, a pure heart i'm seeing the lover's card here like so that's healthy relationships that's like a healthy relating um but there may might have had some kind of tower moment realization that for people that maybe they thought were their friends or something like those people were actually like ganging up on them. If that's the case. And I feel like this person would be saying to each of these people individually, I know what you did. It was seen what you did saying it to them individually. But I also feel like this is a group that was somehow in cahoots. And I feel like they felt that their um, that was the biggest secret of all that they're, that they were somehow like working together in order to maybe cause a tower moment here for this person. And again, I'm hearing that Darvo energy and I'm seeing this reversal here around the four of pentacles. This reversal of somebody here is like that Darvo, defend, attack, reverse victim and offender. This, they wanted to bring a tower moment here where somebody who was blameless, truly blameless. I'm looking at the energies here in this situation. Very positive. Maybe they were expanding here like with Jupiter. Jupiter is like, again, it's often that leader, very divine connotation here. A uh, high-minded person. Um, again, with the lovers, like, Somebody was trying to bring a tower moment here. Maybe um, this is like defamation, dinging somebody's character that doesn't deserve it. And I think they could have potentially been brought into that by their own insecurity. And I'm, I'm seeing, there's a quote from the movie Divergent. Tris, the main character, when she is in her training period for Dauntless, it's a very competitive process with high stakes where, um, you know, whoever doesn't make it past their training they basically end up being homeless like in the the world that the movie unfolds in and she starts to finally get her footing in things and she starts to rise up through the ranks and one of her friends one of her good friends Hal jumps her and tries to push her to her death like over a cliff but is ultimately stopped from doing that um and she's like trying to cope with that and she's saying to for the love interest in the movie but also like her trainer person she's like i can't believe how like she really is struggling it's that tower moment of realizing exactly who he was and like why would he do this and i thought we were friends you know all of that kind of coming to a head and four says you know fear does something funny to people like how you're rising up through the ranks and he's failing it makes him hate himself and it makes him hate you that's that four pentacles energy. That's that insecurity. That's that emperor wannabe. That's that if I could just trade places with that person, if I could induce some kind of tower moment, some kind of apocalyptic moment where people don't look at me as being less than, or they don't call me out for my bad behavior because the four pentacles is an incredibly defensive position here, right? So instead they will look at me like I'm the hero. They will look at me like I'm the emperor and they will look at my victim as though they were really the persecutor, Darvo, defend, attack, reverse, victim, and offender. But again, I feel like there's um, there's some kind of divine timing here about all of this kind of coming out. And I'm hearing, I know what you did. It was seen what you did. It was seen what you did. So I do feel like there's a divine timing quality to this because for some of these people, it's a tower moment realizing that, that they were seen for exactly who and what it is that they are from somewhere, okay? Because 
Again, there's this almost feeling of piecing this together about somebody or a piecing this together about the truth of a situation here. And it could be because one person saw a sneaky thing that somebody did. Maybe they didn't understand what they were seeing, but when they finally opened up and told like maybe three other people, then everybody kind of realized they'd seen something that didn't make sense to them and they all started putting it together and then boom, it was this apocalyptic moment of like, oh my gosh, like this person is this kind of way. And for some of you, it's like a very bad kind of a thing, right? Reverse victim and offender. Like you could have some kind of an offender here. Um, so just take that however it um, it resonates. But, and maybe the, this person, there's some kind of an apocalyptic nature around like causing a breakdown here in, um, in some kind of communication. But I do feel like there's a tower moment of all of this kind of coming together. So I think for some, this was seen in the moment when it happened. And therefore there's some kind of seed that can grow where somebody can alert other people uh, again, that number four, an emperor position, a leadership position, they can alert somebody about what it is that they saw, which is again, going to cause that apocalyptic tower moment energy where this person's going to get called out. This person's going to get seen for exactly what it is. Maybe in a group, maybe this person who really was the offender in this situation. And they were trying to frame a person who, again, they just obviously are scrubbed in sunshine here. They're obviously a good egg. And they were trying to, um, they were trying to defame that person in order to hide behind their own falsity and maybe so that they could confess love here to this person. For some, there was a rival here and they were trying to get in this rival's head and, um, you know, cause a tower moment, cause them not to see this person as divine so that they could swoop in and make a love offer here. But all of this is being seen. So either it was seen in the moment and that's a, a tower moment for somebody realizing that they actually got caught and they thought that they got away with something. Maybe they really indulged a lie and because um, they thought they got away with it. Right. But for others, it's like this, this pieced together in divine timing in the divine timing is something where this person maybe got a little cocky. Maybe they, um, they did lean into their lie. They did hype it up. Now there's a trail. Now there's evidence. There's some kind of divine timing here. And spirit is really wanting to kind of blow something here apart. And for some, it is a very negative group where spirit is trying to make them all realize that they don't really belong together. Like this could be a family that just indulges, like they have very negative traits, very toxic traits. And they just drum up the worst qualities in each other and nobody's being truthful, right? Or this could be a friend group or this could be a work group. This is a group that I'm just seeing like a gardener's hands kind of pulling the root structure apart that's been all tangled and bound. Like these are people, it's a karmic kind of formation and they just go nowhere fast with each other. And they kind of have this tower moment energy because um, maybe they're all kind of this emperor wannabe four of pentacles energy. There's, they kind of all bind together from their insecurity. And because of that, it just builds this, you know, negativity that they then unleash on other people. So spirit's wanting to break this group up, but needs all of them to see each other and see themselves in the mirror. And so this divine um, energy was um, set into motion. I'm hearing this, this divine person here was handpicked. They were handpicked for their purity of spirit in a particular way because they provide a very strong mirror. Now, being a very strong mirror around very uh, unsavory characters is a dangerous position to be in because Darvo, defend, attack, reverse victim and offender. Um, and because of defense mechanisms, which we talk a lot about here on this channel, but there's a strong tendency to when... Um, your ego is trying to defend yourself. Part of your ego, it sometimes tries to defend yourself from having to confront the truth of who you are because it could just be overwhelming. Um, and you you could be crushed at the reality of who you are. I think that's going on here for um, whoever this true offender was in this situation. They haven't been able to maybe cope with who they are and who they were to a person who did not deserve it and the links that they went to. And I think that's also shocking here for potentially other people that know about this situation. But this divine being was handpicked because of their purity of spirit here, because it, they can be trusted to be a friend. And that is a strong mirror here. But just because they're showing, they're strongly reflecting the truth here of the situation doesn't mean that's gonna come across because you have those defense mechanisms, especially if this is a group or a person who is very rooted in that four of pentacles energy insecurity, being blocked off at the heart, being blocked off at the crown chakra, just really being an adversary to truth. But the truth needs to get in here because if it can be destroyed by the truth, it should be destroyed by the truth. And I really do think that it's a false image that an emperor wannabe has of themselves as the emperor, as a leader, as the true one, as the powerful one in this situation when they are no such thing. They need to come to terms with that. Um, or this is other people kind of realizing that here about somebody else. And I think it's here like this group. There's a group here who maybe felt like they could trust each other or their own minds, but this needs to kind of get blown apart here. So um, there has been some kind of breakdown in communication and that could have been with this divine being and that could have incurred more blame here um, 
from these people who don't who are are not comfortable here with this truth but that if i was doing this as a peace offering um because there is are some people here whether it's this one emperor wannabe or this group that have very bad karmas and those very bad karmas will play out but it is like this maybe was a a, a peace offering of if this very divine blameless person is caretaken and um, taken it, um, care of in this situation instead of taken advantage of and darvoed and um, gossiped about and defamed and blamed um, inappropriately, then this really is um, an ability for some people here to turn their karma around um, so that they don't have to experience the karmas maybe that they've built up here in the past, but they were meant to pause. They were meant to get a new perspective, become enlightened here about something. They were meant to see things from a different angle. Um, maybe make some kind of sacrifice or change in their behavior to release something, whether that's a friendship or this group or um, a former way of like analyzing the world. And that would have changed their fortune here greatly. And I do think that's by being in partnership here with this very um, special person, whether that we've got Gemini energy here with the lovers. So whether that is in an actual lover situation here, whether that's as friends um, Gemini is also just the people that you see around you every single day. This is really the thing that's going to change somebody's fortune here, having this energy around. Um, and that's why this was considered kind of a gift here from the divine, but they would have had to, um, grieve, you know, they would have had to let go of a person that they thought they were again, a friend, somebody that they maybe thought was respectable, whatever. Um, there were changes being asked in the situation. So that's the energy that I'm picking up here for this reading. Like I said, it's picking up on a lot of different situations here that all carry this very apocalyptic tower moment energy, but it's the tower moment of realization and insight and finally putting a piece, a puzzle together of, I know what you did. I see what you did. I see the strategy behind this. I didn't see it clearly before because my own defense mechanisms were at play um, or it was hard for me. I think with this divine being, it's just, it's hard for them to, it feels like this group or this person that targeted them just ruthlessly, they, they did a Darvo. Um, it feels like for this person, they maybe didn't understand that people were capable of that because it feels like there's a threshold, but this is a threshold at the bottom of things. It feels like there's a threshold of things that you just do not cross. You do, you just don't stoop to a certain level. Healthy, normal people just do not engage in certain behaviors. It doesn't matter how mad you are. It doesn't matter what you think about another person. There's just a code of conduct that you, you just refuse to embark with. And I think to find out that maybe there's a ringleader here or that up to four people felt it appropriate to, to cross that threshold in a way this person just never would, um, I think was a real tower moment here for them. Could have made them feel very unsafe. Um, this also could have resulted here in this person um, manifesting something or like a new financial opportunity or some kind of skill here. Um, whereas I think these other people, now they're reaping what they've sown here. They've got some kind of discord and it might be that they've got discord here. I'm hearing judge me by my enemies. Well, you don't want to be judged as a person who has a literal divine being as an enemy. It doesn't say great things, right? So um, now they've got a breakdown in communication and they've got issue. They've got beef with somebody who nobody should have beef with. They might not be your cup of tea, but literally nobody should have beef with this kind of person. Again, it reflects very poorly. Um, but also I think there could be a breakdown in their own relationships here because this, these aren't people that have healthy um, skills on the inside um, to process certain things and they don't have healthy communication skills. So they, this could be a breakdown in marriages here. Like for these people, breakdown of, again, this friend group, this um, like a family unit here. And there's a lot of, lessons going on here about expression and about the truth, being able to get to the truth of what it is that you're seeing or the truth of what it is that you're hearing. Um, definitely before you stick the landing on anything that would be bring this level of like tower energy, especially to this person who really didn't deserve it. So um, anyways, that's what I have for you. If that resonated, please like comment and subscribe to my channel. Bye. <laughs>